This video provides a short demonstration of the capabilities of D-Drone's Drone Tracker Integrated Multi-Sensor Detect, Classify, Track, and Defeat System. We first see the Drone Tracker homepage, which features a top-down map view of the covered area, locations of the integrated sensors and defeat systems, and a live alert for detected small UAS in the airspace. In the upper left, we see information about the command and control link being actively detected by the D-Drone RF-300s, including the manufacturer, protocol, and frequency. At the start of this demonstration clip, we see that both D-Drone RF-300s are providing lines of bearing to the small UAS at roughly 1.5 kilometers from the designated point of interest. The bearings intersect and we are able to provide a track where there is the overlap. As our preliminary alerting and localization is being done with RF sensors, we do not yet have an elevation for the detected small UAS. The electro-optical infrared camera is being slewed to queue by Drone Tracker using the RF detected lines of bearing and is attempting to find the small UAS but won't likely have a chance to do so before the radar picks up the track and provides accuracy and elevation. Now that we see that the elevation is displayed in the Drone Tracker user interface, we know that the radar has picked up the track and Drone Tracker has seamlessly fused the verified RF protocol detection with the radar data. This provides the camera an X, Y, and Z coordinate to start looking for the small UAS and is then able to quickly get the object in frame to locate and identify. From here, the camera will autonomously keep the small UAS in frame and follow it throughout the duration of its flight. Because we also have a pan tilt unit with an RF jammer mounted to it, we can remotely initialize the jamming defeat mechanism. The jamming menu is selected and the frequency band at which we are detecting the small UAS protocols is automatically selected. The operator can choose to add additional bands or select to activate all available RF modules. Now that the directional RF jamming is engaged, the communication link between the small UAS and the ground control station is broken. This puts the small UAS in a lost link protocol state, and the behavior will be dependent on that particular model. Typically, the small UAS will attempt to return home or land. However, small UAS flying by waypoints or autonomously will need to be jammed with GPS and GNSS or other appropriate defeat options.